Hello, hello, everyone. Hope you're having an excellent Friday. I'm doing pretty good. We're here at Atlanta Brick Co. doing a store tour live, looking at these packed shelves, ready for the Christmas season. It's an awesome day. I'm glad everyone's here. Let's see who all has joined us in the chat so far. There's Michael, Mirror Bricks, The Rex Delta, Emmy on YouTube, Carbo, Rob, Grumpy J. Malister is here. Good to see you, Malister. Tegan. How we doing, says Carbo? We're doing pretty good. Micah, good to see you, Micah. Don't forget to like. Oh, thank you, Lima Bricks. Yes, don't forget to like. If you leave enough likes, I have to wear the Nexo armor. It looks silly. <laughs> it's actually pretty fun. Morgan's here. Blaze, good to see you, Blaze. Gary, thanks for joining us. Chris Dodson. Gialdi Joe, pretty much everybody's here. Thank you all for joining. Well, most of you will know the drill, but for those who don't, we try to look at requested items, check out all the cool products we have in the store, answer questions as best as I'm able. I might miss a few, so if I miss it, just repeat it in the comments. Let me know. There's Philip. Good to see you, Philip. Mark, you are on, you are on assignment, good sir. Yes. I get to make a nice build for you there, Malister. It's rare for me to actually do commissions these days. Daniel and Steven. I, I think Austin's, uh, his fantasy journey has come to a close. <laughs> oh, yeah? He's already had a tough season, but I just got a notification that Joe Burrow's hand injury. He's out for the season. Joe Burrow's out for the season, so That's Austin's going rough. to just go. That's rough. I'm glad I've got him this week. Uh, <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to obliterate him on fantasy. That's there good. Oh, uh, well, anyway, uh, yes, blue coats first, as they are the best. Yeah, we can check out what we've got in blue coats. There's a pretty nice blue coat uh, fortress here, actually. I think this is the Eldorado fortress, if I'm not mistaken, the original. You got the uh, governor up there. You got the guards all around. Those pirates sneaking in, trying to get some treasure. This is a whopping $500 for the original, though. I don't see instructions, just the build. But it looks like it's in really good shape. Beautiful flag back there, too. Yeah, a lot of good stuff to see. Is that Joe's attempt at a mustache? Yeah, well, apparently some people don't shave their mustaches in November. And uh, Joe's trying to do that or something, so. I see a UCS Razor Crest. That's right, Blaze. We got a nice one right here. We might have had two. At least the one right here. That's good to see. Home Alone's here as well. Very, very good for this time of year. Above Joe's desk, we have something that I'm going to show you guys, regardless of whether you want to see it or not, because I like it. I think it's pretty amazing. It's my favorite set. Number 375, The Castle. This one's certified complete with an original box in very, very good shape from 1978. This would have been a European version of the box. 788 pieces, and it is a beauty. Oh, the first minifigures. Tied for the first minifigures with the classic space and town lines. $800 for Certified Complete. We had to order multiple new stickers for different elements like the, uh, the tower and the drawbridge topper there. So, an amazing deal. Just a little out of my budget right now. It escapes to the store shelves where you can buy it for $800. Yeah, $2.2 .2 million. No, only $800. It's actually a pretty good deal. I, I would have expected more like $1,000. I think it's a, it's a very underrated set, even for what it is. So... Another good one here. We got Wally. Wally looking good. He is 350. He's actually gone down a little bit. I think they were selling a bunch on Amazon and it brought the pr price down a little bit. So. Jolly Joe says, Woo! Alternate Canada is here. Good to see you, Alternate. Do you have the Yellow Castle mark? I sure do. However, I don't have the box. I have a nice set of instructions, but I don't have the box. So I'm still on the lookout for an, a box that was n even nearly that nice of the one on the shelf over there. So. Wally with the loose neck. Yes, I believe that is the one with the loose neck. It's an easy fix, though. You just get a little rubber tire and stick it in there, and then he's sturdy as he gets. So. God bless, Lego Master. Oh, thank you. I want to say it's Banda. Thank you, Banda. Appreciate it. Got one in bulk lot, just missing some stickers. Oh, there you go, Tegan. Yeah, friend section looking pretty good. And then we even have a few friend sets that are going to be on sale for this Black Friday deal. 
Got some of them starting to show up here. Some Star Wars, Lego Ideas, Lego Marvel, Classic, Mario. A couple other themes going on sale, some Minecraft. I might pick up some of these Minecraft sets. I could use an extra Steve. Pretty cool stuff. There's a few more of the sales sets going to be happening here soon. These are the Friends ones. And the Lego Superhero Girls here. Lego DC Superhero Girls. Horse training and trailer. Unicady's Party Time. That's actually a fun set. That's awesome, Tegan. That's uh, 375. That is one of the staple sets. Rob's comment. Mark has the next castle that he's not telling anyone about. Well, so if you go to my Instagram, there's this, there's a reel I posted about a couple months ago, and uh, I used a crowbar in that video, and it was pretty funny. You may have to check it out. I know it caused Grumpy Jay to burst into tears, so it's pretty, it's pretty vivid. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's intense. This is a random thing. I don't know how Joey might like it. Ooh, it's uh, cool. This was one we we we're clearing out a case that kind of had some random stuff, and this was just hiding in the back. Just found it there. This is this one's that catching one's my so eye cool. yeah. with those micro figures. Doesn't that have the micro pixel? Yep. Yeah, that's micro cool pixel, thing. micro uh, my, micro pirates, classic space and town. The, the pirate or the not the pirates. Yeah. That's so cool. Marking. I'm joking with you. No worries, Rob. I get you. Any super old sets like those little boxes? A bunch of the type of brick. We do yeah, have some that of those. Was, that was the one of the old. So, so 70s is a rare year for Lego, but we can go look. That's a good request there, Giorgio. Liam Bricks says, I'm going to be at ABC tomorrow. Does the store still have those friends employee gifts? We do, Liam Bricks. We do. I think it's 220 though, so it's not a cheap set. But it's pretty cool. The stairs worked out well. Yes, they did. That was a super nice that they were already there. Just needed to open up the flooring. Where's the best place to get stickers for 375? Probably Bricklink, but maybe eBay? I'm not sure. We don't have any. That's one thing I know. Any classic space? We do have some classic space, Robert. In fact, we're forgetting over there now. We'll check out some of this classic Lego stuff first, though. Joe, I have one that's one by one bricks. It's super cool. There you go. Emmy's got one of those. I'm starting to seek out some of the older stuff. I mean, that makes sense there, Joe. Joe. There's a couple of them here, and a few more down here as well. These expert builder packs are going to be pretty old. This is an old set, too. I think that's set 1909, if I'm not mistaken. A lot of weird pieces on that. 140 for that. Some 70s down here, too. 60s, maybe. All these signs are old, too. Flounder Collects is here. Good to see you, Flounder. Thank you for joining us. There's even some time twisters and time cruisers back there. I'm loving the time cruisers. Hundred dollars, very tempting, very tempting. Ooh, and Exoforce too. That's a nice one. What's Exoforce doing hiding back here? Might have to get it out. That's a nice box. All right, classic space. Let's have a look at classic space for Robert here. Yeah, the cheapest sticker sheet for three seven five on Bricklink is four hundred and thirty six dollars in Denmark. The reason being is you basically just need a sticker sheet to complete the castle since it's mostly basic yellow bricks. Yeah, classic space down here. You got a $100 Rover vehicle right there. It's pretty cool. Got a couple of smaller sets tucked away in here. Got some Stingrays up here too. And Aqua Raiders. Blacktron. Any more classic space hiding here? I see some insectoids and in, uh, life on Mars. Robo Riders. Robo Force. There's some ex an Explorian base back there. That's so cool. Certified. Very nice. That one in the box right there is actually really cool. How much for the uranium search vehicle in the blue with yellow? Ooh, this is 100 right here. 100 with a figure. The figure has a faded torso, unfortunately, but it is a good classic space figure other than that. The uh, print on the brick over there on the corner, that one's pretty crispy, so it looks pretty good. Good instructions down there, too. So. 
not a bad price, but in most classic space stuff is going to be pretty expensive because that's very collectible. So. Yeah, we're not looking at uh, this stuff over here anytime soon because this is this is the garbage section. This is bleh. I mean, look at it. Bleh. No one wants to see that. New Minecraft sets for 2024. We, I don't think we have any of the brand new ones yet. What's the newest one we got here? Oh, well, no, 4.0. I think it's a 5.0 or 6.0 that's coming out now. This is last year's, so this year's. Next year's is coming out soon, but that's pretty recent. This is probably this year's too, yeah. 2023. So another recent set, but not the newest. So a couple of them. I think we have more old school Minecraft than we have new school Minecraft. From 2022 and 2023. Emmy's membership updated. Congratulations, Emmy. Whoa, 87 likes already. Wait, are, are you kidding me? I can't see the, the like counter, Flounder. You can't be joking with me like that. Technic? We can go look at Technic, Liam Bricks. Did I miss GoPro's comment? Hold on. Hey, GoPro. Congratulations on your membership update. I just saw that. So. You guys still have the sealed Mini Cooper creator set? I don't think so, Slamming Grannies. We can check, though. We're at uh, Mario. Here's Technic stuff here. 26 likes. Oh, well, thank you, Emmy. Thank you. <laughs> Flounder giving me a heart attack with the light count over there. Like, do I have to get the next armor already? Have I missed a look at the sealed modular buildings in stock? You haven't? We haven't checked those out yet, BJ, but I will head over there next. Good to see you, GoPro. Thanks for joining us. Mark, have you checked out the new book about classic space? I haven't, Joe, but I probably should. That sounds pretty cool. So, Technic looking pretty good. We've got a built car sitting up here. I don't know how that got up here, but that's that's here. A um, couple of the good sets here for me in the E. Monster Jam with the horns. That's kind of cool. Well, let's go look at built modulars. Or, um, modulars in boxes here. It is awesome. I remember seeing stuff for the Classic Space Building the Future book. Definitely going to have to check that out at some point. It's an older one. I'll have to check it out if uh, Geology Joe and BJ like it. That sounds pretty good. Oh, a new Classic Space book is on Amazon. Yep, I'll check it out, Robert. Well, the modulars were here, but I think they just got moved around. Because there's one of them up here, the Grand Emporium. That is 620, 620 sealed. And um, probably the nicest conditioned box I've ever seen. Very nice, but Random Life's membership is just updated. Congratulations to Random Life. Thank you very much. You've got an assembly square over here, sealed. It's going to be retail, I imagine, probably 290. Maybe it's rounded up to 300 at this point. We've got three of those. But a couple other modulars here that are hard to find, though. The Classic Space book looks amazing. Covers 78, 92. Tons of. Get it done. I was reading alternate candidates' comment here. With pictures and designer interviews, looks so good. Nice. Nexus liked it. Well, everybody's read the book but me. I need to get on board with this. We got a detective's office here. Really nice set. Let's check out the price of that one. $600 on the Texas office. Wow. Sealed, though. Beautiful box. Parisian restaurant is, what is that? $430. $430 for Parisian restaurant. Those two have gone up quite a bit in the past few years. Very nice. Rock Raiders on the top shelf. How much? We can check on it for you. We moved it over there not too long ago to get some more exposure. Get it out of the way of insectoids. The Palace Cinema is a whopping $500, but very nice. And the Pet Shop, I'm guessing $400, $500. This is older, but somehow more affordable. $400 on Pet Shop. So $400 isn't super affordable, but to get a sealed modular that's retired is pretty cool. 
Oh, Random Life gifted one Atlanta Brick Co. TV membership. Thank you, Random Life. Appreciate it. Let's check out the Rock Raiders on the top shelf here. Robert. This is 500. And it looks like it's sealed in there, too. Yep, sealed bags. Super cool. Big box flap. I'm a big Rock Raiders fan, as most of you guys will know. So. Oh, how much is the cyan? We can check on it, though. Is that old Forestman's set you got earlier in the week inventoried yet? I think it's already sold, Flounder. Um, that the Forestman's River Fortress, that one is was on the Joy Building last night, and I think it's sold. But we can double check on that for you. Hey, Mark, what do you think about the new Avengers Tower? I think it's really good. Um, the figures are a little basic, but I mean, those are the figures that w should come with it, so it makes sense. The Hulk is especially interesting to me. But 450 for the cyan, so it's gone up a bit. Nothing crazy, but it's still pretty expensive. Tarnation says Flounder, yeah. That one was so cool, it went pretty quickly. It was expensive, though. It was like $400, $300, I think. So. It did sell, yep. Now I'll start confirming it. Sorry, I bought the River Fortress last night during the drive building. No worries, BJ. It was a great set. And it had been for sale for a day or two before. It wasn't like, uh, I think Flounder just had missed it, unfortunately. So. <laughs> All righty. Any other Lego requests? Let me see if I missed any here. Don't worry, Mark. I haven't read the book either. There we go, Leo Bricks. I feel good. Got the cyan price. I think we're pretty caught up. If I'm missing things, just let me know. But we got 17 minutes in. We got some time left for sure. So go ahead and drop a like if you haven't already. Or ask a question if you're looking for something in particular. There's some creator and classic sets here. Some nice throw blankets. I'm going to have to get one of these before they run out. I always like those Lego merch items. <laughs> GoPro dropping all the emojis. Mark, what are those Star Wars cards you just passed? Oh, so a while ago, Lego was doing Lego Star Wars trading cards. Here they are now. And to make it more interesting, we put them in a little case with their correct figure. So you can see the figure I think the case and the card is like a dollar or two. They're not too expensive. But the figure, maybe it's $5? I don't know. The figure is determining the price here. So you got a $40 Boba Fett, a $15 Ray, $25 Kylo Ren, $14 Luke Skywalker. Um, you got a, a $60... Um, what's his name? Solo. Han Solo and... I forget it. I'm forgetting Han Solo's buddy here. His frenemy. Got Darth Vader, Snoke, random rebel guy, Lando. Thank you, Lando. I, I, it's been an off day for me. I thought today was Sunday when I woke up. It was just, uh, it's, been a, it's been a week. Um, and then you got uh, Count Dooku over here. So Lando, Lando, Lando. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Yeah, Star Wars looking good. And those trading cards do highlight the figure to make it look more interesting. So it's good. So. Another Razor Crest. There's that other Razor Crest I was thinking of earlier. Buildable figures. It's Goat Bro's brother, by the way, Mark. Oh, Goat Bro's bro. <laughs> Thanks for joining. We appreciate it. Got the Coruscant Guard gunship over there. Looking pretty good. Oh, we got a Darth Vader's castle up here. That's a nice set. Mark, get some rest. I need you on your game for that commission. Oh, no worries, Monster. Building a tower is like falling off a log. It's easy. But I'll make it look really good. Hey, you can finally catch the store to alive. Well, there you go, Chrome Vader. Thank you for joining. Glad you're able to make it. We're checking out the Star Wars section right now, but if there's anything you're looking for, let us know in the comments. Always open to suggestions and requests. So. Brain fart. I do it all the time. Yeah, I, I know who Lando is. He appeared in the original trilogy. And the, the sequel trilogy, too. In the third movie. One time I was teaching, I showed a picture of a Grand Canyon. I totally forgot the name Grand Canyon. Oh, no. That's pretty bad. That happens to all of us, though. Got some new trade in the store here. 
This will be processed and put out. That big spider is awesome. I don't think we have any room for it right now. Mark, remember the lesson I gave Steven? When in doubt, more guns. I'll remember that Malastare. I was so embarrassed. <laughs> That's good. It happens. It happens, Jolly Joe. Got any sets for $15, 20 We sure do. There's quite a few. Winter Village, built, sealed, any and all. Okay, we'll check out Winter Village first, but then we'll go look for some $15 sets. There's some Christmas-themed items up here. So, a 2012 limited edition. This is interesting, too. you got these mini, mini figures with little heads to, for bodies. Got a little Christmas merry-go-round here. Christmas trees. Winter Village stuff here. That's the Winter Village Bakery, I believe. One of the earlier ones. It's four fifty. Winter Village Post Office. It's going to be five fifty. Another expensive one. Winter Village Train Station. This one's two fifty. It's gone up a little bit. And uh, Winter Village. That's going to be Cottage, I believe. And that's four hundred for that one. Certified complete, but has been built for its use. Some other Christmas sets here. Uh oh, I see Nexo. Nexo, Nexo, Nexo. Are we up to uh, thirty-five likes? Was the counter? Is that what the counter says? Yeah, thirty-five likes. Do we have 35 likes? I need official confirmation from somebody who's in the know, because I can't see. I'm turning a blind eye. <laughs> no. I'm not stalling. I just need confirmation. The light counter has been struck. Oh, no. Oh, no. 36. Okay. Okay. Let me head over there. Dad gummit. Oh, I avoided this last week because I just kind of breezed through it. But this week we were just having a jolly old time. Everyone showed up and left a like. Wow, wow, wow. All right. Let me go over here. Can you guys all still see me good? The the stream yard on my computer is messed up. So let's see if I can reload this. Hold on one second. Making sure the stream is okay over here. Okay, so we're still doing good. Thankfully, the phone was running fine, but the laptop cut out for a second. All right. You, uh, you savages ready for this here? Yeah. There we go. Fits me great. You see that? Oh, there you go. All right. Let's get back to it, shall we? 38. Stop stalling. No, I'm not stalling. I got it on. I got the armor on. Uh, now he looks like a civilized Lego master. There we go. So glorious. This is grumpy. Mark, where can I get your t-shirt? You know where, Lemur Bricks. ATLbrick.com. It's our Bonko shirt. Available now. Glorious purpose. <laughs> it's so small. I know it go broad. I think it's made for someone who's a little younger than I am, but I'll fit. I'll fit. Thankfully, it's, it's sleeveless, you know. <coughs> Pharaoh's Quest. Oh, hey, Nexus. We actually have some Pharaoh's Quest now. We can talk about that. I want to talk about the Rain Corpet, Jabba's Sail Barge, the Slave One. Oh, no. Did we sell the... Uh... I'm looking for Jabba's Palace, but I don't see it. We must have sold Jabba's Palace. I posted about it this morning. All right, let's go look at the Pharaoh's Quest up here. This is a big wall of sets. Got the Cursed Cobra statue. That's pretty cool. Got Rise of the Sphinx. This is a big Sphinx build. No Anubis guards, though, just mummies. Pharaoh's Quest is underrated. Absolutely, Chrome Vader. The Scorpion Pyramid. Oh. We've got uh, two of those now. I think one of those is certified complete. But yeah, Pharaoh's Quest, it's very underrated, but it's, it's gone up a little bit. It's a little more collectibly priced now. So I think the pyramid sells for 400 So, Oh, there's an old Jabba's Palace on that shelf with the old Me Element Pigs. Now, I was talking about the slightly newer version with Dark Tan and the newer Jabba the Hutt figure. And 
Yeah, that one, it was right there, but maybe it got moved or sold. It or it's just me. It's just me being me. Monkey kid. Ooh, we can look for some monkey kids. See if we got any monkey kid over here. Next is I have the Cobra set, too. Last year. There you go, T Valkyrie. The site has both old and new Jabba's Palace seal. Okay, so it's supposed to be around somewhere. I must have just missed it. We do got have some Monkey Kid. We've got the Monkey King Warrior Mech, which is a really cool set and build. Massive Titan battle thing. You got uh, Red Sun's Inferno Truck and Monkey Kid's Lion Guardian set. And I think that's going to be it for Monkey Kid. We have a little bit of Dreams and quite a bit of Ninjago over here, too. So, kind of put all these cool original Lego themes over here. We'll be picking some of those up when I come to the store tomorrow. There you go. Nexus is Zach. They'll be here for you. Found a built pyramid about a year ago and signed it for 150 The Pharaoh fig is correct. But otherwise, it's in fantastic condition. There you go, Chrome Vader. Those Anubis guards are my favorite part. Because I do like a little bit of Stargate every now and then. <laughs> Got to go. See you on the Nexus. Take care, Nexus. Thank you for joining us. The cape. <laughs> Justin likes the cape. Have any of the Donkey Kong Mario sets? We had one of them, GoPro, but we'll go check on that for you. Let's see what we got. We still got three minutes left. Enough time to check out for some Donkey Kong sets and maybe another request or two. So drop them in there if you want to see something in the store. Besides next tonight. <laughs> Alrighty, here we are. Diddy Kong's minecart ride. And is that who is that? Groovy Kong? Cool Kong? Stylish Kong? We need Stargate sets. I I would like that, but I don't I think most of the people who buy Lego wouldn't understand what that is. So. Used to hate Monkey Kid, but since then I've changed my mind. There you go, Leon Bricks. Monkey Kid's pretty good. It's definitely grown on me. At first, I was like, what is going on? And now I'm like, oh, those are kind of cool, actually. They're very big and dynamic. So. Almost as big and dynamic as Galador. Heroes and defenders of the outer dimension. You've got a little McDonald's Nepal hiding inside. He's only $9.99. The egg, as it was fondly called on the show, was only $29.99. Um, in the show, it's actually a gray color, but here it's got this really sick violet color. It says Lego on this piece, but it has no stud connection, so have fun incorporating that into a mock. <laughs> Sorry, guys. All right. Excuse me, everybody. <laughs> Yikes. This is <laughs> you pay us $9.99 to take it away. <laughs> yeah, that's a little... Uh, I don't know who priced those. That might have been Joe. I think the, the more going rate for those McDonald's toys is like $5, so. Gua old. Galdor is Mark's all-time favorite show, pretty much. It's the most memorable show I've ever seen. I'll put it that way. How dare you sell something that's not Lego? Oh, no, it's Lego, Go, bro. It's Lego. You might want to look back on the year 2002. When Lego's darkest day dawned and the company nearly went bankrupt. Ooh, look at that. They got Steven and Mark figures here for sale. Those are pretty cool. Nevin's Bricks says, yo, good to see you, Nevin's Bricks. We are wrapping up here. We don't have that much more time to talk, but we'll check it out for the next 30 seconds here. 2002, The Dark Times. What? This is good for yeah, I, I probably just blew your mind, GoPro. Got to go. Remember, Lego Friends was always good. <laughs> yes, it was. Yes, it was, Leverix. Everyone, have a good one. Yep, we'll, we're wrapping it up now. We only got 10 seconds left. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. we got many more videos coming out this weekend. Saturday, we got a great podcast episode for Between the Studs. And Sunday, we should have a Lego Masters review coming out. It's already filmed. Just need to edit and upload it. I'll be doing that now, so we'll see you then. Bye-bye.